Hey there guys, it's Carly. I am both very excited and very nervous today because I am doing part two of my students make assumptions about me. So the other day I asked my year nines to make some assumptions about me. I believe that some are assumptions and some are questions, but you kind of get that when you give instructions. Um, and by the wicked grins on their faces, I'm very concerned about the content of some of these assumptions and really hope that they are G-rated. But let's get straight on into it. All right, let's go. Number one, in no particular order. You are an SA lad. Now, I'm not too familiar with uh, the definition of Eshe, but I am certainly not an Eshe, and I think just looking at me that much is easy to discern. So I'm not really sure how you got that assumption. This one is a question. Have you ever had a true love or a high school boyfriend or both? Uh, I have had a true love. I would say actually that the person that I'm with now is my true love. Dave and I have been together for four years four and a half years, um, and I'd say he's my true love. I had one boyfriend in high school, it was in year 12, and we were only together for two months, and I was just, I really liked him, he was a nice guy, but I was just like way too scared and too shy to be in a relationship, so I ended it, and I did it by text message, so please don't do that. That's really bad form and I regret that. He was a nice person and I texted him to say that we were breaking up. So sorry about that. But no one else liked me before that. And it was, yeah, no one likes me. Very nice in school, but a nerd, but in a good way. Yes, I think I was nice in school. Um, I, I had like a good group of friends, but I kind of like knew and was sort of friendly to everyone. And I was hundred percent a nerd in school and I think that I'm still a nerd now. Miss Morton wishes she followed me on Instagram from Sam P and sorry Sam no I don't wish I followed you on Instagram I'm actually not allowed to follow students on social media until after they leave school so you know I follow the rules around here so sorry about that. Have you ever done drugs? I 100% knew someone was going to ask this question because they were just so cheeky looking. Uh, the hardest drug I've ever done is Panadine Fort. So no, I've never done drugs. No one seems to believe me when I say that. I think they want me to say yes, that I'm like some crazy, like wild person. But the truth is I'm just not. Uh, this is not um, a, an assumption or a question, but it's follow my Instagram at Ryland North. Uh, as previously communicated, I'm not going to follow his Instagram, but if anyone viewing this wants to go check Rylan out on Instagram, go right ahead. He's looking for, he's fishing for some followers, I think. You have a boyfriend that's very rich and you have a chihuahua and you hate your job. <laughs> wow. Three different things. My job is really hard. I definitely have like a love-hate relationship with it. There are certain moments that are really hard and make me question how I can continue do it, doing it. But there's also like so many great times and great things that have come from it. And I definitely think that I'm, I'm like meant to be a teacher. It's my purpose and I was placed in that job and in that school for a reason. And I think I'm definitely achieving something like within myself and I don't know, like in terms of my purpose like higher calling, like uh, we're getting real spiritual here, but to answer that one, I do have a boyfriend as previously stated, we don't call each other boyfriend. You don't say that when you're old, you say partner when you're an old person, but whatever. That's very rich. Uh, I'm, I'm richer than him actually. We won't go into that, but I'm the, the breadwinner in this family and I do not have a chihuahua. We have um, a dog, his name is Mac and he's a great dame cross bull Arab. So he is like the exact opposite of a chihuahua. He's an absolute beast of a dog. Miss Morton is vegan and lives in a cottage. Oh, I do live in a cottage. Yes, and I'm not vegan, but Dave and I have been uh, vego slash pescatarian for a while now. Like we don't call ourselves vegetarian. I don't like to whack a label on it because um, people get like a bit huffy when you, you know, make decisions that are not strictly vegetarian. But I would say that we are pretty well 
pescatarian, so we do eat fish. She's a horse girl from Izzy. I'm not. I've never had a horse. I've barely even ridden horses. Growing up, the people next door to us um, always had horses and I'd go over there and pat them and feed them apples and carrots and different things. But dad would never let me have one. He is afraid of horses. Um, he says that he knows like three people that have died from horses, which is like, just scares me. They are beautiful animals, but they are also like scary animals too. Cause you can just see like so much power and intensity in them. So, I have a healthy fear and appreciation of horses, but I'm not a horse girl. Horse girl. Is it true that you secretly hate your job? No, <laughs> I've already answered that one. And I certainly don't hate my school. And it says, and, and the school, no. But I do find like I go pr I like a little bit insane. You know, I've had definitely some moments where I've been like crying in the car on the way home from having a bad day, but I think I think that that's true of most people's jobs, I suppose. Here's another one. People are just fishing for um, some follows here. Follow my Insta at JosiahDevilstein underscore. Go follow Josiah if you can. I don't know what sort of pictures he posts, but I'm sure you can find out. Uh, 200 subscriber house tour. Oh, well, I've already filmed a house tour and it's coming out before this video. So hopefully you've already watched it. And if you haven't, Go and watch my house tour. Miss Morton is the best English teacher from Sam. Thank you, Sam. And I try pretty hard to be a good teacher. I try. When did Miss Morton have her first kiss? Oh, I was in year 10. It was at a school disco. And if my cousin is watching this, she can attest. She forced me into it, like quite literally forced me into it. It was very embarrassing. It was very bad and I try not to recall it. I mostly, I have moved on from that experience and yes. All right, I've only got two more left, let's go. Miss Morton is actually Austin Powers in disguise and in a former life, she was Samwise Gamgee from The Hobbit. He dies. Well, I've always loved the Austin Powers movies and I take that as a personal compliment that you think I'm Austin Powers because I think that he is funny and cool and quirky and got a great personality. So I'm assuming that you think the exact same about me. Samwise is a very different character. Um, I don't know how we can be both Austin and Sam at the same time. He was very um, like mopey and like emotional and deep. And I would say that I resonate more with the Austin figure than the Sam figure. And I don't like the idea, you know, of, of, of me being a character that dies because I'm gonna live on forever here. All right, last one. And I had to end with like the weirdest one as well. She has kids in her basement or attic. I don't have a basement, I don't have an attic. And if I had either of those places, I can think of a whole heap of different and better things to fill them with than children. I have enough children at school, they can stay at school and my house can just be my own zone. Okay, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a third round of my students make assumptions about me, make sure you leave that in the comments down below. I've hit up year 7, I've hit up year 9, but year 11 and 12, they could have some more sensible, insightful assumptions. We will see some very interesting ones there from year 9 though, so thank you to all my year 9s who participated. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.